Hello everyone, I am Miss Ozoda. Today is our last lesson of our marathon. So today we're gonna focus on task two and also we will focus on like linking words and also we will write an essay together. So that's why today is going to be very, uh, like, very useful lesson for you because I'm gonna write my own essay, uh, like, on very popular and common topic as well, of course. So next thing is today I want to focus on linking words first of all because linking words are essential part of our task one. So what kinds of linking words do we have? So in order to show an example, so we can say so for example, but it is very common so that's why we can use for instance or we can use the prime example of, some, say, uh, of someone or something. Also we can say such as as like such kind of words so in order to add new idea we can say in addition additionally furthermore moreover and uh, different kinds of words in order to add your idea add new idea for example also you can use plus if you want like another advantage disadvantage another problem so you can differently add new idea uh, next one is in order to show a result you can use such kind of words like thus so uh, as a result uh, also consequently in a consequence so such kind of words as well so another thing that you should know is how many words you need in writing task 2 so here you need like 250 words yes 250 words so that's uh, like quite good because you are given only 40 minutes for that task but however if you want to write more or less so like I mean more minutes I mean more time or less time you can manage your time as you want because for example in task one you are advised to spend like 20 minutes in task two you are advised to spend 40 minutes so that's gonna be very good very easy if you practice a lot if you write a lot and uh, before writing our essay I want to mention that we have uh, like some kind of tips how to improve your writing in general because you know we don't have such a word or such a concept like concept that IELTS writing and general English writing no we have only one writing one structure but the, like but the thing is that you should be good at general English writing uh, you you should easily like show pros and cons advantages and disadvantages you should naturally use different structures complex simple you should mix them all like you should mix all the time um, also we have like complex structures like while whereas also you should learn uh, you should be able to use them because as I said before we don't have like IELTS writing and general English writing we don't have such a concept okay so that's why uh, always pay attention to general English and after that you can focus on your task two essays okay very important thing in your task two is brainstorming so brainstorming what does it mean brainstorming sometimes students are short of ideas so they don't know what to write what kind of ideas to use so that's why they need they need brainstorming so uh, in order to brainstorm you need one paper uh, like just a white paper and what are you going to do uh, you are going to how to say to write down ideas all ideas that come to your mind all ideas and you should organize them for example let's take education like should education be free so for example your ideas uh, are for example yes it should be free because like uh, everyone has uh, like right to get a free education like free education but uh, maybe other people think that education shouldn't be free because like when it's free nobody like uh, like how to say nobody mm, 
respect this or nobody value it so that's why they think that uh, it shouldn't be free so that's why you should brainstorm your ideas like pluses minuses like uh, maybe like um, should it be free why and you should explain one by one step by step so this is um, like logic of brainstorming whenever you uh, like you struggle with uh, like with new ideas you can just brainstorm you can do some research on the internet you can google some information of course but while practicing yes while practicing you should get as much information as you can uh, like then later on you like you can show these ideas on your uh, like uh, exam question yes as I have explained you everything so let's start our writing task 2 we will write it together well today is our topic is shopping habits depend more on your age group than anything else to what extent do you agree or disagree so uh, first of all before doing brainstorm i think we gonna start from introduction because introduction is not going to be very difficult so we will start like this um it is frequently it is frequently claimed that Mm, there are certain, there are certain age groups which, like there are certain age groups which are addicted, which are addicted to shopping, to shopping. Of course, we can say it differently. For example, we can say like it is frequently claimed that there are certain age groups which have uh, an addiction to shopping. But I chose to write like which are addicted to shopping. Like full stop. Um, next one is. So I want to use the structure while. So while it is um, believed, it is believed. Uh, while it is believed uh, like by it is believed so by many by many instead of saying by many people we can say by many I suppose I suppose that um, I suppose that not only age not only age but also but also other like other factors for example we have different factors so here i found hidden argument because in our essay we shouldn't write down only about shopping habits and only about age group we can uh, find other factors as well so it is called hidden argument but also other factors other factors um can matter can matter so actually this is my like uh, introduction so here I don't need anything so that's perfect I think that's perfect start for our essay so uh, as you can see it was as simple as possible because I don't like very complex sentences to write in introduction because like uh, I also read a lot of like essays and um, such kind of simple structures always attract uh, like my attention I mean like I they always how to say attracted me because they were quite simple and it was really enjoyable to start like um, this essay next one is so this is our bodies so body one and body two so let's start from body one so how can we start our body one so first of all of course we can say on the one hand on the other hand or to start with but today I want to start from to begin with. To begin with. So um, here, if you remember, here we need like a main like topic sentence. If you remember, so to begin with, I want to mention about the age. So to begin with, age is like age is uh, one of the most one of the most influential influential 
like um, factors, one of the most influential factors. Here we need plural form, factors, one of the most influential factors. When the shopping is concerned, when like the shopping is concerned. So instead of saying when it comes to shopping, we can say when the so like when the shopping is concerned. Next one is I want to add the first idea. So uh, like as you can see, my first body is uh, is going to support the age because like age is as I said before, it's very influential factor. So in my body one, I'm gonna write down only about age. So um, that's why um, like. That's why here I am going to give some examples. So I don't want to use like moreover or furthermore. I want to start from more specifically, more specifically, more specifically, um, like here I want to use conditional. So we can say um, if we look, if we look, I don't like uh, I don't mean that I am looking or my family members are looking at this question, but if they look, I mean like general, in general about other people as well. So to if we look to different age groups, if we look at, if we look at different age groups. So like a typical, a typical, like we can say, a typical group of people, a typical group of people is uh, like, it is very easy. So as you know, it's youngsters. Yes, uh, is youngsters, is youngsters. So, uh, but I also want to uh, like, like how to say to define the age. So youngsters, like approximately like between between 17 and 21 because I think it is the most like uh, popular I think ages where when you are interested in shopping when you are addicted at shopping so here now I should uh, like support my idea so because I started to talk about youngsters so these days I can say these days um it is sought to be common. It is sought to be common. This one is passive voice. Uh, it is sought to be. It is sought to be like to be a common phenomenon. It is sought to be a common phenomenon because of because of increasing because of increasing popularity, increasing popularity of consumerism consumerism so it's actually like a uh, topic related to vocabulary so uh, if you want to know such kind of words it is better to google these words because like google will help you to like to know more about them because consumerism can be used in like in different topics not only education shopping uh, not education i'm so sorry but shopping like market uh, selling something, such kind of words. Also, when it comes to restaurants. So, um, so now I want to explain the reason. So now I want to explain the reason. So, um, what is going to be a typical group? A typical group of people. Of people here. I want. So, uh, here, uh, like the reason for that. Like the reason for that. The reason for that because okay, the reason of that can be seen, can be seen, can be seen uh, on different uh, on different social networks, social networks like for example uh, Instagram or TikTok or we can say social media, social media sites. For instance, so like for instance can be used instead of like for example or such as. So for instance, uh, we can use 
such kind of sites instagram or tiktok instagram or tiktok like um actually it's written like it should be written like this tiktok where bloggers where bloggers show uh like actually not only bloggers but others like other users as well where bloggers or users can easily can like can easily influence influence on like influence young minds influence young minds we can say where bloggers or users can easily influence young minds and um, increase a sense of a sense of uh, materialism like materialism when your mind your actions and your thoughts are related to money to financial side materialism yes so uh consequently so here i want to talk about its consequences as a result of that consequently uh, consequently not only has it been not only has it uh been leading been leading to an increased to an increased sense mm, no no like increased sense of comparison because um you usually compare your life with people like on instagram or tiktok so Consequently, not only has it been, so uh, actually this is also like a complex sentence, yes. Uh, not only has it been leading to an increased sense of comparison, uh, one's possessions, I don't want to mention about only one person, like she or he, I just want to say in general, one's possession. One's possessions with others. With others, but also but also uh, we can also say about unhealthy shopaholic habits but also to um, an unhealthy and unhealthy shopaholic shopaholic habit yes shopaholism is uh, like the meaning of shopaholism is when you buy a lot of clothes, it doesn't matter are they necessary or no, are they important or no, like you have this habit, so that means, well, like you struggle and you cannot manage your time, money as well. So let's start our body too. Uh, I hope that the, like the font is very comfortable for you. The size is like also comfortable for you because like if I'm not mistaken, it's not very bad, but actually quite comfortable for you. Let's start our body too. So I want to start from however, because if you read like um, if you read Simon's essays, he usually starts like this body too. However, however, there are. Uh, like there are more important like there are more no no like there are more other more important factors i think other more important factors uh more important factors but instead of using important all the time i can say essential vital as well so important factors rather than age rather than age rather than age so this one is hidden argument because uh in question we are not given other factors like we are not given um like extra arguments so that's why it's gonna be uh, our argument and hidden argument should be found, uh, of course, in your question, especially such kind of questions like rather than anything else. So anything else is it's your hidden argument. So next one is gender, I think, like gender and uh, financial, like financial, um, like financial condition, condition 
are, because here we have two factors, gender and financial condition, are the other examples. other examples so instead of using for instance for example all the time so i start my sentence like this so despite age um, like despite um, despite the age despite the age females females so females uh, like women uh, women are always are always considerate considerate this one is passive voice considerate as highly active as highly active um, like when it comes to shopping then it comes to shopping when it comes to shopping um, so now I'm gonna explain my idea why like females why women so like one minute yes so, um, so as in most cases, as in most cases, women are, women are in charge of, in charge of means be responsible for, in charge of, in charge of doing shopping, doing shopping for the whole family for the whole family for the whole family such as groceries so such as i can use instead of like or for example such as grocery like groceries actually uh, and clothes so this is also a good idea uh like to support my idea so uh, full stop I think or we can say like in comparison in comparison now I'm comparing men and women like um in comparison however like no so just closes and groceries and closes so that's enough I'm gonna compare men and fee like females in the next uh, sentence yes next one is so moreover uh, moreover, I can use instead of, instead of moreover, I can use in addition, additionally, or furthermore. But I here I want to use moreover. So as statistics shows, as statistics show. Uh, but to be honest, I don't have any kind of statistics. I just like uh, I have made up this statistic. So, uh, like. Aesthetics show women, like here I can compare women, um, we can say tend to be, tend to be um, more addicted to shopping. Or I can say um, women tend to have like more addiction to shopping, to shopping, especially, especially purchasing purchasing we can use instead of buying purchasing like purchasing clothes yes in comparison with in comparison with a little proportion with a little proportion of males proportion means percentage proportion of males i'm gonna start from finally so um i can say like finally mm, okay and individuals i'm gonna talk about financial condition and individuals and individuals like financial condition financial condition or we can say situation in order to not to write down one more time um like we can say situation financial situation also plays also plays uh, a crucial role a crucial role 
uh, in forming such a habit in forming uh, such a habit so like here it is very important to pay attention to this structure such a habit because a lot of students uh, usually make mistakes when it comes to such and so so usually comes with adverb and adjectives such usually comes with a noun or adjective plus noun here i need like full stop uh, next one is like i'm gonna uh, add some like conditionals if a person um, if a person um, experiences, experiences means witnesses, uh, like go through something, uh, like experiences an excessive, excessive, like an excessive interest, an excessive interest um, in purchasing, or we can say in buying things, in buying things, uh, like among family members among family members or even friends we can say or friends mm, he will probably uh, like sometimes you can use he or she but also it is better to say they like first of all you start from a person but in order to generalize it's like it's better to use they like they will probably will probably um they will probably adopt this pattern so adopt this pattern means like they uh, will get used to it pattern so instead of using habit habit all the time you can say like adopt this pattern and will actively will actively um use it will actively use it full stop so now we can move to conclusion. So in conclusion, in conclusion, uh, like, of course, you can start like to conclude, uh, but it's very comfortable for you to start like in conclusion. I want to start, I want to use this structure while, or I can say whereas, uh, whereas age is uh, considered as consider it like um essential Essen instead of saying essential factor i can just say essential um uh, like i believe i believe i believe that uh, there are i believe um, there are other factors mentioned above mentioned above like matter equally we can say like matter equally so like this is for me like this is a perfect in conclusion because i have already explained it uh, my ideas like i pointed out everything about my idea about like uh like arguments and I think you find this essay very useful. Thank you very much for your attention. We have written down our essay, so I think it was very enjoyable to you uh, like to write with me such an essay. And uh, I really hope that all of like videos were very useful for you. And our last homework is, first of all, you should find out different questions on task two, uh, like on different topics, for example, as I said before as i mentioned last lesson so like education medicine or different kinds of questions you should practice and you should write down one or two essays like uh, a day per day so it will be very helpful for you because like um like the more you write the higher score you will get so that's why thank you very much and goodbye